Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just sent me this clip art, and they almost got it, but they kept having double lines, and this is what they want. They want a good, clean vector with a vector cut line around it to cut it all out. And I have made several videos on this, and this is this one is a little bit different, so I thought I'd go ahead and make another video. So we're going to click on our clip art, and we're going to go to Bitmaps, Resample, and it was originally 300. I've already changed it to 6, so you just press OK. Go up to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, Clip Art is what I use. Since it's a large clip art, it's ask you that. Doesn't really matter what you do in here because we're going to change some things later. You could have um, so here it is. It's almost through tracing. You click OK. Your new trace copy will be on top. And we want to use the yellow box trick for sure. I'm going to draw a square, fill it with yellow, put it to the back of the page. We want to click on our object and arrange and ungroup and then take this white and just delete it. Then we want to take this and delete those words. So now we're really done with it. But here's what they were having a problem with. They were seeing double lines. And so that's what they're getting, and it was it was a little bit confusing to them because um, you can't just take this and just use the weld tool to put an outline on it. So what I would do, and I exactly the way I would do this, let's zoom in here a little bit. Take your Smart Fill tool and just fill in black. Okay, move your Smart Tool, Smart Fill away. This thing is only about less than two inches, so I've made my nudge factor three inches just to get it out of the way. This is a good, clean uh, vector. Let's just double check it with the yellow box, make sure we didn't get anything. So everything's good. If, if you see yellow, it's transparent. Now here's the key to doing this. You can see that you can't weld it yet or put a border around it. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate of it. Then we're going to take this one and go to a range and break curve apart. That gives us a, a, a black blob. But to see what's happened, our create a boundary has showed up. So we're going to create a boundary. Now we have our boundary. We can delete this. And since we're using the nudge tool, we can put it right back, two arrow clicks, and now you have a cut line around this apple or group of apples. Now, what I would personally do different is to take this one, and I just moved over one arrow key, go to effects, contour to the outside, let's just say 0 0.005. It's going to contour it in black, go up to a range, break contour apart. If you click on the center, you should be getting the red one and you can arrow down. So sure enough, we got the larger contour. Let's make it, I'm going to right click and get a red hairline. You can see right down there is a hairline. And then just cursor over back to it. Now you've got a little bit of wood left. Well, not really. It ought to be bigger than that. Let's. Let's back up here. Let's back up a couple of steps. Yep, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Let's tell you what, we'll do one more step. Let's back up and let's contour it 0 0.009. We want just a little bit of a contour. Now you can see the difference. Click on your object, go up to a range, un break contour part. Now your red one is your small one. And you can visually see this thing is 2.612. This one is 2.613. So it's a little bit bigger. We're going to left click on it and make it red and just move it back. Now we have a contour around the shape that's just a little bit bigger. 
to me, that would be personal preference to show a little bit of wood, I mean, just so minutely. Then just make sure you delete everything else on your screen. I grabbed an index line. So you won't be messed up. Get rid of your clip art. And as always, there might be something in there you don't see. Just kind of either check your screen or hit the F4 key and it'll bring up only the things that are on your screen. So that is a good, clean vector clip art of a group of apples. You can resize it to any size. You know, if you want to make it a little bit bigger, the contour and everything's still going to stay there. And it's a pretty neat little graphic. I would have maybe gone in and cleaned it up a little bit, uh, but it's an apple and it's leaves and it's natural. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit. Thank